Hello once again, model car builders. My name is Trevor Slescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Tell. <laughs> trying to remember what it all was. So today I have another 1932 AMT Trophy Series Ford Fiaton to show you. This one I built quite a lot later than the old red one that I did. This one, I do believe I've built out here in Alberta around 2006, I do believe, for a model car show. Now, uh, the Trophy Series model cars are really cool in that you can swap out the engines because all the motor mounts and everything are all in the same location. Actually, this one you can remove the top too. Haha, <laughs> quite nice. I glued down the top on my old red one, the stock one from before. But anyway, yeah, and you can switch out the wheels because it's a wire axle through all of the Trophy Series cars. Actually, AMT used that for a lot of years. But anyway, this model car, of course, came from this model kit, which you can still find out there on the internet and whatnot. And look for it coming out under round two as well, because, hey, those guys have the molds and they keep popping stuff out like this. So without further ado, Make sure I put that in the right spot down there. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's go down to the bench and take a look at my 1932 custom Ford Fiaton. And here we have our 1932 Ford Fiaton. This one, of course, is more of a old school style rat rod. You can see that I did a lot of pinstriping. These are all done by hand on here added some louvers to our hood. Those are from the uh, Ravel 54 Chevy model kit. And as we just rotate this around, you can see I painted a bunch of white paint in here. Again, going with the old style. You can see the spider webs up the side, the blue pinstripe. All the stuff, uh, the paint for it, came from one of the old uh, Artist One-Shot paint sets. Here across the back, you can see uh, my tiki face and the stuff I did on the gas tank. These little tail lights here, I do believe they are from hmm, one of the Mercury kits. I'm not quite sure anymore. Uh, I've used the steel wheels in here, used my spinner to paint the white wall tires on. Underneath the hood is the Pontiac motor from the 1936 Ford model kits. And I did add in a air cleaner, which I also pinstriped. We can go and take a look at that in a minute here. And I thought I would spin the car once more with the hood and the top off. You can see our engine a little better. I wired the uh, motor using my old alternator. I got that from high school. It was a coil that was uh, thrown in the junk. So I asked the shop teacher if I could have it, and he said, sure. <laughs> Pinstriped in on the dashboard, and the wheel is from a 55 Chevrolet. Again, a lot of uh, neat stuff that I did on this model. And with the Trophy Series, all the uh, things match. The uh, engine mounts, sorry. So you can uh, swap and switch engines and a whole bunch of things. And again, I love these old Trophy Series kits. Here we have the undercarriage of our 1932 Ford Phaeton. And as you can see, we have the gas tank. This is a separate piece for the frame. Here we have the alternate rear differential with uh, torsion bars on here, as well as our uh, Ford style leaf spring. I painted the underside white and added in a black battery. Uh, that's a bottom case there. Then there's our Pontiac engine with the exhaust pipes coming up over here. Here again we have radius rods, or torsion bars, that lead out to our dropped front axle. And as you can see, the undercarriage is painted white, just to complement that red primer. Here's our nice 32 Ford Fiaton. Again, uh, there's the louvers, as you can see, and all my spiderweb pin striping coming out of the back ends of the louvers, as well as the nice little detail up front. And that was all artist one shot using a pinstriping brush. And if we remove our hood here, you can see again, well, maybe you can, I'll, I'll tilt it up, but I've got our fuel lines going from that fuel cell up there. I didn't put in the brake lines, but again, here's the spider under the hood who's made all the cobwebs. 
sitting on this nice air cleaner which I do believe came from the 58 Chevy kit. Now if we turn it up you can see the nice Pontiac motor. This is a 389 which I've wired again. The engine here comes from the 36 Ford from AMT in the Trophy Series. And just tilting this up, if you look at the firewall in the back, you can see again all the little pinstripes I did and all the rest of that cool stuff. Now just moving this forward on our road to success, you can see our 55 Chevy steering wheel in there. Again, quite nice. And this time around, I've got our seats where you can see them because AMT Ertl did eventually put in the right interior for our 32 Ford Phaeton and got rid of the Vicky mistake that they made. So we'll just put our uh, hood back on here, which again nestles in quite nicely, just like that. So let's take a look at some photographs of this amazing model car. Well, I hope you enjoyed my build of this 1932 Ford Phaeton. And if you've built this model kit in the past and customized it like I have, what did you do? We'd love to see that over on our Facebook page. We can uh, share the link down below in the comments or the video description, I should say. And if you've built this, tell us how did you like it? Uh, what sort of things did you do? And how did you customize it? And many other questions we want to know. <laughs> So uh, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. <laughs>